we have them we have them in every aspect of our lives we have these people be careful around them because they can drain your energy they can drain your happiness they can drain your well-being they can drain your spirit they will drain you from head to toe you go home feeling so drained and tired and worthless listen none of us wants to feel worthless so anything or anyone that is pulling you down please this is from that person's side do not allow them to drain you when you notice that's who they are why are you still keeping the company i don't care who that person is even if he's a celebrity but he's always putting you down even if he's uh, a known person a, a top business person but each time you are around of this person he or she keeps putting you down leave them leave them we have them in male friends male and female friends you, 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 a female might say, this is my partner. The so-called partner will always be putting her down, telling her how fast she looks, telling her how ugly, even comparing her with, with his, his friend's girlfriends. No matter what you put on, he will tell you, watch this, but you don't know how to dress up. What cream are you using? You don't know how to make your hair. You don't do, keep putting you down. Even if that one is a rich boyfriend, leave him. How much more can you take before you know you would leave? After putting you down, they give you money. You use the same money to find yourself in the hospital. Is that the kind of life you want? Because you are heartbroken. And one thing we need to understand is the moment you are always feeling down, depressed, angry, dejected, rejected, it causes sicknesses in our body, whether you want to believe me or not. It causes a lot of sicknesses in our body. And those sicknesses, those type of sicknesses, no amount of cure in the hospital can stop it. All it needs to stop it is prayer and happiness. When you start putting yourself first, praying to God, believing on the word of God that you matter, that you are worthy, telling yourself you are worthy, making sure that your mental health is intact, automatically sicknesses will disappear from your body and you'll be wondering but i thought they said i used to have cancer they will run a test and tell you we don't we, we couldn't find the cancer anymore and you'll be wondering like how did it happen or maybe they'll tell you you have diabetes you'll be wondering and they will tell you we can't find anything again you are fully all right so why am i saying this i'm not saying that cancer and diabetes cannot come on their own they do but there are certain lifestyle one will be living you are you incur all the sicknesses into your body you incur all of them even headaches apart from normal headache you are always constantly having headache apart from normal headache you notice that when you start putting your life in order by praying to God, believing on God's words, living your life in truth and in happiness and joy, putting yourself first, making yourself a priority in life before any other thing, headache will disappear. Because inside of you, you are truly happy and relaxed, careless about what anybody tells you. And of course, cut all those negative people away from your life. All the sicknesses will disappear. So be careful of people who criticize it. You overly do it in your life. Okay. Number six is the negative naysayers. Need I need to tell you more? Negative naysayers doesn't find anything or see anything good. They can talk about someone. They are always negative. Even when you are doing so well, they are negative. They keep saying rubbish behind you now i'm gonna join number six and number seven together negative naysayers and gossipers they are the same thing they gossip a lot about you and in your face they claim to be your friends in your face we are merging six and seven together negative naysayers and gossipers these two works hand in hand they are the same spirit they work hand in hand they can never see anything good in you but the thing is they don't say it to your face they go at your back to say how do you handle these people if you happen to know them as your friends like someone who you, who you know very well they could be your friends the best way to handle these people is walk up to them and ask them that don't hide it ask them tell them i heard you say this 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 about me and don't don't allow them to escape if you want to call the other person's name that too you call the other person's name tell them i appreciate you being my friend but i will appreciate it 
if you will stop talking about my private lives, if you will stop talking negatively about me, if you will stop talking about me behind my back. Say the way it is to their face. Don't just go home and be sulking and crying and be angry, throwing tantrums that you hate them. And tomorrow when they knock on your door, you laugh. Mm -mm. Confront them. You know what I mean by confrontation? Confront them. Then after confronting them and they pick a fight with you, because they, they, they're always like, who the hell do you think you are to question me? When they pick a, a fight with you, the best for you. That's the best opportunity for you to cut them off because they are not adding to your life. Instead, they are taking away your energy, they are taking away your happiness, they are taking away your well-being. They are taking away everything good in your life. They are not adding to it. So you truly do not need them at the end of the day. So the best way to handle negative naysayers and gossipers is to confront them if that one happened to be your friend. Then assuming you don't know that person, you just see that person, you know, but doesn't mean both of you are friends. You hardly even see anyway. And you hear what they say about you. Now in this case, I will tell you, ignore them. They're not your friends. You don't care about them. Ignore them. Completely, totally. Since they are not your friends, you can't even go to them. Maybe you don't even live in the same state with them. Then, care less about what they're saying about you. Continue to move in your life. Continue to move on ahead, ahead. Up, up, up. You know? Keep going ahead, ahead of them. Have them remain there and be gossiping. But if you happen to know that one, all these unseen enemies in the midst of friends or unfriendly friends. The best way to handle is confrontation. Politely tell them that you will appreciate it if they stop talking bad about you behind your back. Whether they cut you after that or they did not cut you, please just leave, leave them completely. You, you can choose not to go back to that friendship anymore. And if they even come up to ask you, tell them, I appreciate you, I'm not angry with you, but I don't think we can continue with this friendship. I do not think I can continue with this friendship with you. Tell it to them to their face and that ends everything. So let's go to number eight. Number eight is be careful of self-centered people. Self-centered people are something else. I don't know how to qualify them i don't even know what to say about them but you see self-centered people they can drain your peace they don't care about you all they care about is themselves their achievements their downsides their happiness their problems their joys they don't care about you when they call themselves your friends and you are with them the first thing they, they won't even allow you to speak about you no matter how the discussion is going, they will be self-centered. It's always about them. They will, they will start from Genesis to Revelation to tell you all about the achievements without letting you speak. They will tell you what is wrong in their life, how they're unhappy, this, this happened to them, how they have been through this, how they have been through that, without letting you talk, believing that you do not have your own problems or your, or your own achievements. Even if you squeeze and manage to chip in your own achievements or to chip in what you are passing through, they will find another word altogether to cover that one and overshadow what you are saying to them. It is always about them. It is always about them, about their happiness, about their sadness, about their life achievements, ups and downs and everything. They don't let you speak. If you maintain that friendship or if you maintain that relationship, always acknowledging them, always giving them words of consolation, believing and hoping that one day they will, they will turn around and at least hear you out to know what is also happening in your life. No, you are making a mistake because there, sh there shall never be that time, ever. They won't let you talk. It's always about them. They tell you how they are feeling down, how everything is bothering them, how they bought a car, how they bought a house, how they are always on top and how it is only them that the companies are choosing for this, for that, for that all about the achievement hey we all have achievements we all have that thing we wish to you know be happy about 
then this person calls themselves your true friend. Or in a, in, in a relationship, you believe that is a true relationship, and yet they don't allow you to speak. They don't. They make it seem like they are the only one in the picture. Now, I want you to know something in this life. We all are acting and moving in this life. And in every movie, each of us are acting. You are the lead character of your script. Mm -hmm. You are the lead character. So do not allow anybody overshadow you in your own lead role. Don't allow anybody to overshadow you in your own. They have their own lead character to, to play. You are not a sub-character. You are a lead. You are the one who is leading the role in your own script. Now, self-centered people doesn't care. They overshadow you in their own and overshadow you in their own. Now, that is the end of the topic we have for today. I said eight, eight types of people you need to be careful about. If you do not understand this video, please go back and re-watch it again. Begin to check your circle. Know whom you are supposed to sieve out to maintain your mental health, maintain your peace, your happiness, your health. Oh yes, maintain your health because you wouldn't want to break down and maintain all round joy into your life. So I pray we don't see these people even though they're already there in our lives. But as, as we are praying to God, we ask God to continue to reveal them to us so that we'll know the kind of people that are in our lives, whether they're named for good or for bad. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And if you know you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more. Until then, I'm going to bring another interesting topic. But for now, I have to say, take care of yourself and have a great day. Bye.